What's up guys? Namco has blessed us with another Soul Calibur 5 uh, DLC pack. Sit tight to find out what's in it. Cepheus 4 uh, DLC pack 522-2012. Um, this, in my opinion, is a really, really good pack. Um, so you creators out there, you guys are going to like this one a lot. Let me show you uh, exactly what you're going to be getting with this. So, as always, you go to the Cepheus store, download the compatibility pack. That's going to be uh, number four here. All right, you see that it comes with hairstyles number one, uh, skeleton costumes one, SEV character equipment two, and active wear number two. Um, each one of these does require a download uh, for either Microsoft points or uh, real money on the PlayStation Network store. So uh, let's take a look and see exactly what you get here. Uh, let's see here. All right. So once you have downloaded the uh, Cepheus 4 pack, you're going to have these uh, four uh, options available for you. For you can first, you have the uh, hairstyles one. Uh, it's going to give you a mullet uh, crew cut for males, uh, a ponytail for females. Uh, you get a skeleton costume in the second pack. Uh, then you get a bunch of stuff actually for the character equipment 2 pack. Um, you get, as you see there at the top, you get Ivy's uh, one player and two player costumes. Uh, you get, let's see, that Cervantes one player and two player costumes. Um, you get Natsu's second player costume. Uh, let's see here is Shiba's uh, first player costume and Leisha's second player costume. Each one of those is five parts each. Uh, let's see here, and then this is kind of like a bonus pack, I guess, the active wear number two. You get a track suit, um, and then some gear for like a boxing type character. You get some headgear, boxing glove, trunks, uh, championship belt, and some uh, shoes. And then for novelty, you get a swimsuit that is only usable by females. So let's um, go ahead and throw some of this stuff on Haley. Uh, she is one of my created characters, my... Uh, custom characters that I've made and played with in a couple of other videos that you might have seen on the channel. Um, so let's run down some of the equipment that you're going to be getting for that now. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so for headgears, first you get the boxing, boxing helmet or headgear rather. Standard stuff. Uh, let's see here. That should do it for headgear for females. You also get um, nothing there. Nothing. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Let's see stuff here. Um, Ivy's Seeker Suit. So uh, clearly that's Ivy's costume there. Pretty detailed stuff. You can see like it's a lot of um, details in the legs there up through the um, torso and on the shoulders. It's got a snakeskin type look. Um, that's her actual costume, so you get that. You get uh, the two-player costume, which you saw at the beginning of the video. Also got some snakeskin stuff here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Like, I mean, look at the shine on it. Uh, really cool, and obviously you can change the colors on that to be whatever you want them to. Um, I thought this one was kind of funny. This is just a skeleton don't really know uh, how else to describe it. it it's a skeleton <laughs> so you get that um, and then you get a swimsuit it's like a Japanese style swimsuit with the name tag on the chest so you get that as well I think that does it for undergarments uh, now you also get Natsu's chest piece see here this is Leisha's vest this stuff is really nice by the way like look at that it's really good looking you see the see through there embroidery on the chest looks really cool um, and you get the uh, tracksuit jacket And that about does it for the uh, upper body stuff. 
nothing in the uh, upper body coverings for the lower body get the uh, Hakama which is the uh, bottom part for Natsu's second costume and Leisha's pants they're called elegant riches you can see the detail there it's good looking stuff and then you get the tracksuit pants standard stuff and the boxing trunks I'm actually going to go back and uh, put all of these together for you so you can see what they look like as a set as they were intended to uh, be put together Just take that off uh, nothing for the hips, oh, sorry championship belt for the boxer Namco really did a really good job with the detail on these as you can see you get a aristocrat choker this is part of uh, Ivy's second costume. Again, I'll put those together for you so you can uh, see what they all look like together. Uh, for the arm equipment, Seeker's gloves. This is Ivy's uh, P1 gloves or arm equipment. These are her uh, P2 Aristocrat gloves. So fur there. These are uh, Natsu's P2 gloves. Let's try to get a better look at the top there. Leisha's elegant sleeves. And then the uh, boxing gloves. Which are actually pretty cool too. For all of you that were looking for boxing gear, you finally got it. And I think it's pretty cool myself. Uh, this is Natsu's shoulder piece, Seeker's epaulet, or is that uh, Ivy's? I'm not exactly sure. I could be wrong about that. Okay, now for footwear, got the uh, aristocrat heels. Let's get down on the ground level so you can see those. Got snakes around the ankles, pretty cool. These are uh, Natsu's Ninja Tabby, which would actually work uh, quite well for anyone who's trying to um, change my Shiranui shoes. Those will work for her. Uh, here are Leisha's Elegant Sandals. It's cool looking stuff and then you have the boxing shoes All right. Um, and then I believe we have one uh, specialized equipment piece and this is the aristocrat earrings that's as far as I can zoom in unfortunately can't really see them that well but um, you can move those and change the size on them like any other uh, specialized equipment piece so that's pretty cool alright so let's go ahead and put um, some of these sets together for you first let's do the boxing headgear I mean you use the tracksuit um, I mean you probably use those on a male and go with no shirt obviously before female, you can't do that clearly. Um, so 
so we'll just do it this way for now. So you got that. Actually, you're not going to use that tracksuit jacket. How about just like a shirt? <laughs> kind of clips through her, uh, the top of the shorts there, but you get the picture. Um, let's go ahead and remove those. Uh, let's see. So you got Ivy's costume there. Pretty straightforward. You guys know what this should look like, most likely. Something like that. Alright. And then you have her two piece stuff, which is actually has a couple more pieces to it that I will go ahead and show you. It's got the neck piece there. With the shoes and the gloves. So you get Ivy's full costume. Let's go ahead and remove that one. Let's see what else we have here. Skeleton you've already seen. That's just a skeleton. Really not much you can do to that. Um, let's take a look at Natsu stuff now. So you got the ninja chess piece. And the ninja hakama. We also have her gloves and her shoes. So it looks something like that. Alright. And let's see here. Let's put Laisha's costume together. Something like that. Whoops. The camera's out of control here. Something like that. And lastly, to show off uh, a couple of the new hairstyles for females that you have here. Um, you actually have three new hairstyles. So you have the warrior's ponytail, which looks something like that. And then you have a shorter do, flower hairpins. And then you have a ponytail. Alright, now I got Ukyo helping me out uh, with the mail stuff. Let's, uh, first of all, let's go and check out. Sorry, buddy, gotta strip you down. Um, let's see here. Okay, we got this uh, Sea King Gambeson, is what it's called. This is uh, part of Cervantes costume. Storm Pirate Frock. Um, I'm sorry, Sea King Male. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just gonna try to put these <laughs> together as best as I can, um, cause I'm not sure exactly what goes where. Um, you know what? Let's just show them off one by one. All right, so um, headgear you've already seen with the boxer. I'm sorry. There's actually Cervantes's helmet in there also. So let's uh, show off that Sea King helm. It's got some nice. Um, scales on the top and they really did a really good job with this um, looks amazing uh, you got the storm pirate hat um, let's go and take that off nothing in the uh, face stuff um, so you got the sea king gambeson again let's just um, Show that off again briefly. Yeah. So 
same type of pattern on the uh, lower body. Uh, this is how a male skeleton would look, same as the other one. Just has the uh, male bone structure and stance, animations obviously. Um, here is the uh, Storm Pirate frock, which is again like really cool stuff. Look at the pirate uh, emblem on the back, the scales, very cool. Um, get the Wildling shirt. Which is Sheba's um, top, obviously. Tiger skin wrapped around his waist. Um, and you got the tracksuit jacket for males. Same as the female version. Um, let's see here. The sea King male, which we looked at briefly. I'm going to put these together and uh, try to make sense of it for you. So you can see the whole suit or costume all together. For the pants you have the Storm Pirate slops. And if you go back to the right leg it's got the dragon embroidery on it. Or actually it looks like some sort of uh, sea hydra type deal not really Hydra, it doesn't have three heads, but uh, some sort of sea worm. Then you've got uh, Sheba's Wildling Trousers. Which are pretty cool. Uh, tracksuit Pants, which again is the same as the female version. And then you got your Boxing Trunks. Nothing really for the hips except for, sorry, not the Voodoo Fold, uh, Seeking Fold. And the championship belt on a male. Same as the female version, obviously. Wildling Pendant. Part of Sheba's costume. But lots of uh, gloves here. Got the Sea King gauntlets. The Wildling armbands. Zoom in on those. Get a good look at them. And then the boxing gloves. For the shoulders get the seeking epaulets. Nothing there. For the feet, you got Storm Pirate boots. And down to the last detail you see there on the uh, on the shin, you got the you know the pirate emblem with the two swords. That's pretty cool. Some really nice looking stuff. Sea King Greaves. And the boxing shoes on a on a male, same as a female, obviously. And if I am correct, got a helmet crest here. And the wildling anklet, which is there. So let's start with the uh, wildling stuff. So you can kind of get a uh, look at that. guys know what Shiva looks like but you can use his costume on anybody now right, let's 
drop that. And uh, let's do the Sea King set first. King set Cervantes P2 costume I do apologize for forgetting some things um, but I just want to give you guys a general idea of what you're getting here the video is getting long so I'm gonna wrap this up and that's basically the storm pirate set Cervantes P1 and then lastly um, just give you an idea of what the uh, boxing set would look like on a male. Let's say a boxer. And let's put the championship belt on him. Right. I mean you you've already pretty much got a Steve Fox looking character right there. You just need to change the uh, hair color to blonde and you pretty much almost got it. So uh you got that and then lastly let's just take a look at the uh, male hairstyles the new two new ones that they gave us here. You got the uh, crew cut And you get the mullet. That mullet. Steve Fox. Right? Alright, so that's the male stuff. So, uh, yeah, that about does it. Um, really nice pack, actually. There's a lot of stuff going on here if you um, are interested in picking it up. Um, the hairstyles are going to run you about 160 Microsoft points. Um, or two dollars on the PlayStation Network. The skeleton costume is going to run you one buck or 80 Microsoft points. Um, the SCV character equipment two set with Cervantes um, and Shiba and Ivy Natsu Leisha um, that's going to cost 160 mi Microsoft points or two bucks. And then the active wear with um, the boxing trunks, uh, this swimsuit that you see her in now. Um, and what else came in that actually let's just take another look real quick um, yeah the tracksuit um, that's gonna run you 160 Microsoft points or uh, two bucks on the PlayStation Network um, cool pack I like it um, let me know what you think in the comments there and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video take care